mini shopping haul for you and I went to Aldi's last night and I bought some skincare items that were new. I hadn't noticed them before so I was intrigued. Plus I saw it on Facebook recently as well about one particular item so I thought oh I'll try it out. I'll try it out. I'm talking about their Nakura brand so if you don't know much about Aldi's and their skincare range they are all now cruelty free. Um, I will link down all the information down below and any articles or anything surrounding these items I will link that down below as well so if you want to have a further read then just click the show more and all the information will come up in the description but yeah all these items came to <laughs> falling all these items came to about 15 pound 20 15 pound 25 so yeah so i've got a good mix here for a really really great price so i'll talk about each thing individually and i'll show you what's inside and what it's like etc i won't be trying them out in this video but if there's anything in particular that you would love to see me do a review on please comment down below and i'll get that done as soon as possible in the next couple of weeks at least anyway just to give you an idea so the cheapest item i got are these charcoal Coal wipes. There you go. And these cost £1.29. So the information says that there's 25 wipes in this packet and it's deep cleansing action, black wipes, dermatolog dermatologically approved with witch hazel. And it says here, just open lid and remove inner label and carefully remove one wipe. Gently wipe over face and neck to cleanse do not flush down the toilet <laughs> so yeah so that's the that's the only information it's got it's got a list of ingredients but um if you want to see if you want to know more about the ingredients i will try and find an article um that explains about the ingredients in this down below so yeah because i can't pronounce half of them so there's no point me trying <laughs> but i thought i'll open this up just to show you what they look like black wipes oh my god they are oh how strange i'll just pull one out look <laughs> obviously i've got a full face of makeup on so i'm not gonna wipe off my face oh oh it smells gorgeous i don't know what to expect i'm thinking if i'm gonna touch this everything is gonna turn black I'm just thinking of like um, charcoal masks and things like that, but it's not, is it? It's just, yeah, it smells quite nice and fresh. It feels really soft. Yeah, really nice. It feels quite thick and it feels more like a t-shirt cotton material. But um, yeah, there. So it is, it is quite thick, <laughs> but no, it feels nice. Not too wet, which I like as well, but obviously not dry. <laughs> because that would just be awful on your skin. So no, that's the black white. So the next one is a little bit odd as well. I'm intrigued. And now this is the La Cura Skincare For You Charcoal Micellar Water. And it says, traps and lifts impurities and makeup, purifying and detoxifying, leaves skin feeling fresh, removes waterproof mascara. I'll be interested to try that out actually. Dermatolog dermatologically tested and it's with charcoal powder, coconut extract and bamboo extract. And it's a two 200 ml bottle here so that's what that looks like I'll try and get it out of the reflection of the ring light so hopefully you can see but no so now you can see it's black <laughs> it's black it's just bonkers isn't it putting black stuff on your face but no I haven't tried any of these at all it's the first time I'm actually opening up and um yeah nice fresh smell no nice no nice so the next item, this is a little bit more expensive. This costs £5.99, but it sounds amazing. The packaging is gorgeous as well. So this is a 150ml bottle of a charcoal mud to foam cleanser. It removes oil and makeup, clarifying, mattifying, pore minimising, improves skin's texture and complexion, glycolic and lactic acids gently exfoliate the skin. Dermatologically tested, and it's with clay, coconut extract, bamboo extract, and eucalyptus oil. I'm guessing that this might not be good for people with sensitive skin due to the lact lactic acids. Um, the glycolic. Let's have a look. Oh, it says there. 
yeah not suitable for sensitive skin so yeah I'm fine I'm fine with that so it just says here look here charcoal mud from cleanser especially formulated with clay and charcoal powder to remove excess oil and makeup and improve skin texture and complexion this cleanser not only targets problem prone skin by minimizing the size of pores it also gently cleanses and exfoliates leaving your skin looking visibly clearer and mattified with added extracts of coconut bamboo and eucalyptus oil and it just says dispense small amount on your fingertips massage gently into the skin and small amount of water to create gentle lava rinse with warm water and pat dry with face cloth or towel so yeah so that's what that looks like there nice big bottle again the reflection isn't too great is it but hopefully you can see that there really nice so I'd have this in my shower and my skin is a bit of an odd one because at the moment I'm on I'm on a medication called spironolactone so it's an androgen blocker so it just testosterone and it gets rid of my acne <laughs> bottom line so at the moment I have I class my skin as quite normal so it's not really dry and it's not greasy but it can be a little bit dry on my cheeks and it can be a little bit greasy now and again on my t-zone but generally it is normal it's not sensitive either but I have got massive pores even though you know, when I do declogging masks and stuff, nothing comes out. They're just naturally massive pores and I can't do anything about it. So I always opt for things like this to target problem skin. But in actual fact, I haven't really, the only thing I've got is bad pores. I haven't got excessive grease or anything anymore. So no, I am interested to see what this is like and how it is on my skin. And if it reduces the signs of those pores, not signs, but shrinks them, that would be good. <laughs> And then my last item is a mask. You know I love a mask. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. And this is a charcoal clearing mask. And this is a, ba it balances problem prone skin. Clarifying, mattifying, pore minimizing. For a mattified and clearer complexion designed to reduce the appearance of imperfections. Dermatologically tested. This is a 50 ml um, bottle I'm not sure I haven't opened it yet with clay coconut extract bamboo extract and eucalyptus oil and it says it is specially formulated with clay and charcoal powder to remove excess oil and sebum leaving your skin looking visibly clear and mattified designed to reduce the appearance of imperfections and tighten pores to help improve skin texture and overall complexion this mask targets problem prone skin for a clarified and more balanced skin appearance with added extracts of coconut bamboo and eucalyptus oil and it says here glycolic and lactic acid it's the help to remove dead skin cells and gently exfoliate skin clay it helps to absorb excess of sebum and oils from skin service so again if you've got super super sensitive skin i would yeah i wouldn't i probably would steer away from this only because of the glycolic and lactic, lactic acid but if you do incorporate that into your skincare routine and you seem to be okay then it might be worth trying it at least you know just seeing what it's like but um but no, it's smart packaging. It reminds me of my Glam Glow Mud Mask. I have yet to try. So yeah, so that'll be interesting to see the difference. Oh, nice packaging. I like this. Woo, hopefully you can see there. That's what that looks like. Oh, I like it, it's smart, isn't it? Really smart. Okay, it's got to see it, yeah. <laughs> there you can see it's just your average clay mask what's it smell oh yeah you can smell the eucalyptus oh it's lovely it is really lovely nice and fresh smelling so, no. so that's my fourth item so as i said all the four items together they came to um 15 pound 25 so really really reasonable reasonable considering you know like the charcoal mask i had it on sale but the same sort of size for the glam glow one was like 40 pound so i had it on the sale so you know 40 pound compared to 5.99 that would be an interesting one to test i think so if you want me to do that <laughs> let me know but also yeah this you know from mud to foam cleanser we've seen a lot of these recently in um, beauty subscription boxes 
or like gel to f gel, uh, gel to cream, gel to foam or whatever, you know, and it contains a lot of active ingredients to really target problem skin. So no, I'm impressed. Wipes are handy and this micellar water that removes waterproof mascara. It claims it. It's on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so those are my items that I bought I just thought I'd show you and if, as I said if you want me to test any of them out just let me know and I'll do a, a little video review on them but also if you have tried any of them what are your thoughts on them I'd be interested to see because I haven't tried this before I think I have tried a serum of Le, a Locura Aldi serum in the past but um, yeah I haven't got much thought on it really I can't really remember but yeah, I've tried this shampoos and conditioners and it seems to be okay, but this is the first time I've actually bought a set of their skincare items, so yeah. So I hope you like this video. If you do, it'd be lovely if you left me a big like, and if you haven't done so already, it'd be lovely if you'd subscribe to my channel. I have got actually a charcoal peel off mask that will be coming up in a few days time. I've also got some subscription boxes that are going to be videoed and uploaded and next week or maybe the week after I'll see how I can fit it all in I'm going to do a series of short little videos about my journey I suppose of being a YouTuber for a year so I'll be looking at my um how I make money not that it's a lot and it's not something that I went into YouTube thinking I'm going to make money it's something that happened about five six months in I realized Ooh, maybe you know I could gather a few pounds by doing this so not a career by all means it's just I'll show you my AdSense account and how much I've made in a year and what how you would go about doing it and what are the rules and new rules have come in so things have changed a little bit but also I look at creative studio and telling you about my tags and just giving you some tips some tips and ideas so if you're new to YouTube and you're fancy knowing a bit of information from a newbie like myself then yeah this video is for you anyway I'll speak to you soon so take care thanks for watching bye bye Bye.